here we go again banana profile hey what's up everyone as you probably guessed we are starting a brand new skyblock profile i'm going to play this profile exactly how i would normally play with the only two exceptions being a no contraband and b if i find some crazy money making method i can't use it to get a hyperion on like day two i'll spend less time in each video covering topics but in return i will be making a secondary parallel series which covers basic concepts more in depth so that new players can actually understand the game and learn how to play it i also must confess i haven't played skyblock for like a year so i'm probably going to be learning along with the new players there's a lot more that i want to say but i'm just going to go ahead and hop right into the video i must confess i thought i was recording for like five minutes and i wasn't so we're now on the apple profile slot as with any good skyblock profile i started off by cutting down a tree and then using my advanced bedwars tactics to immediately fall into the void I then stepped through the hub portal and was transferred to a brand new world. One of my first goals is going to be to unlock the bazaar, and I would have to do that through skyblock levels, which you basically get from just playing the game. I decided to start off my grind to get skyblock levels by grinding for minion materials. I spent a couple of minutes getting enough wheat, potatoes, and netherwort to craft a wheat, potato, and netherwort minion. After that, it was off to the gold mine to get a couple more basic starter minions. After just a couple of minor setbacks, oh no! No, I need mining skill one. Hey, I'm trying to mine coal. I immediately went off to find the lazy miner's pickaxe, which has smelting touch so I can actually mine iron and gold ore. I got enough iron, gold, coal, and cobblestone to craft a minion of each type. And while mining my resources, the unthinkable happened. Oh my gosh, he found a phoenix pet. Really? I think the chances are literally one in a million. Lucky guy, that would have made a great title. And then headed off to the lapis quarry so that I could mine enough lapis to craft a lapis minion as well. Lapis minion, don't kill me, no. Obviously not having any armor wasn't gonna cut it, so I checked out the auction house and saw that I could buy a set of miner's armor for pretty cheap. I started off by farming wheat to get a bunch of coins, but I really didn't like the way it sounded. This is incredible. Ooh, free stuff. I decided to craft an iron shovel and put the highest level of efficiency I could possibly afford, a full two levels. I also decided to pick up a carrot minion on my way. My goal was to be able to insta-break sand on the desert island so I could farm sand instead of wheat, but my shovel just wasn't fast enough. To the desert settlement we go. Does this work, please? No, it's not fast enough. To obtain a better shovel, I would have to acquire a single diamond from the deep caverns, a task easier said than done. Go, come on, come on. There it is, redstone den. Those look like emeralds, let's go. Okay, how am I supposed to get through that one? Oh, it's dead, it's dead. Oh God, I'm on zero HP. How is that even possible? Oh, I didn't bank my coins. Now I may be a loser but I'm not one to back down from a challenge. Okay, attempt two, let's go. Oh my God, why did it spawn on me? Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Where are the diamonds? Give me the diamonds, please. Ah, oh, what? That wasn't even fair. But as they say, third time's the charm. Yes, I found the diamond mine. Okay, have you guys ever seen Mission Impossible? They cleared the way, they cleared the path for me. Go, get the diamond, get the diamond. Yes! We're going big. It's efficiency three or nothing. I spent all of my coins on experience bottles from the librarian, and it was actually enough to get efficiency four. If this didn't work, it would have all been for nothing. Efficiency four diamond shovel. Come on. Yes! And let me just say, the noise farming sand makes is far superior to farming wheat. And so I enjoyed the soothing sounds of mining sand until... Oh, wait! I got a farming contest award, hold on. But alas, some things just aren't meant to be. Wait, no, no, I don't have farming 10. I need farming 10. So I went back to mining sand, but I quickly got bored of mining sand. So I created another video for my second channel and I compared the best first money-making methods in Skyblock and it's very entertaining and you should go watch it on CNoop527. And because I was farming wheat, I actually was able to go claim my farming reward. Oh my God, are you gonna stop talking ever? Thank you. Yes, one unclaimed reward. Oh my god, 
one Jacob's ticket. I'm rich. I'm not even Skyblock level three yet, but I think I found a way that we can actually speed up this process. As you can see here, you can get up to 210 XP from playing harp songs. Granted, we're not gonna finish all of them. I grabbed the rogue sword from Jamie for a tiny speed boost and ventured off to the park only to be met immediately with a level requirement. But I've never been one to play the game as intended. Ha, who needs rules, am I right? But I ran into another roadblock, this time level four. There was no way around it. Hmm. But what was I supposed to do? Break wood for five minutes and play the game normally? No, I found a loophole. You can break leaves. You fools. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that worked. See, I can still use the bounce pads. I don't need forging level five. Just to go back up, I do. And there it was, Melody's harp. You're doing great. I believe in you. You're doing so good. Look at all that Skyblock XP. I will now present the best song ever. I'm the best. With my newfound intense gameplay strategy, it was only a matter of time before I started to level up. Skyblock level three. The next few levels went by much the same as the others. Well, except for maybe a couple of hiccups. Oh my God, really? Why are there so many people here? I'm not even unnicked. Surely you guys have something better to do with your time, right? But then the levels started getting pretty difficult. Fortunately, I was able to cheese them using some advanced techniques. Apparently switching the attack dash destroy and the pick block button is supposed to help. I'm gonna try that out and see if it actually makes a difference. That made a difference for sure. It was down to the last three songs, the most difficult songs in Melody's Harp. But with a little bit of trial and error, I managed to get the first two. Yes, there we go. This last song though is truly painful. 99%. Three. But just when all hope seemed lost, I came up with what might possibly be my highest IQ play in Skyblock ever. So this is my laptop. My laptop has a touch screen. Oh my gosh, I think that was it. Yes, no way did that work. Oh my God. On a laptop, I beat Melody's harp on a laptop. Give me that thing. Are you guys enjoying this IRL Minecraft? I'm gonna go back to my island with my trackpad now. When I next logged on to Skyblock, what happened shocked me. Oh my gosh, it's the spooky festival. It's the spooky festival. I couldn't actually do any damage yet, so it was really painful, but I did actually manage to get a couple of good drops. Purple candy, there we go. And once I got sick of killing zombies in the graveyard, I headed over to the spider's den. Now, you know how I don't have any armor? Yeah, that wasn't working out too well, so I died. Like, a lot. What am I doing? Why? Why am I doing this? I don't know why. So you know how Rage Train did Skyblock hard mode? This is not that. Throughout the next 10 or so minutes when the spooky festival was going on, I did actually manage to get quite a few kills, a bunch of combat XP, and a few pieces of candy. Then I got something that would literally change my life. Oh my God, I got a trick or treat chest. No, no, don't, don't take my trick or treat chest away. Please, yes. Oh my gosh, I got something. What, 64,000 coins? That's worth it. Once the spooky festival ended, I took a quick visit to grandma's house to rob her of her pet. I quickly reassured myself that my death count was socially acceptable. Slash death count, let's see. 38 deaths, considering I died 38 times, that's pretty good. And then I headed back to the hub where I noticed people were launching bat fireworks. I was actually able to collect quite a few green candy which sold for a considerable amount. I gotta stop it at a certain point. That's plenty of money. Look at all of that. But before I could actually sell all that stuff, I was first going to have to unlock the bazaar. So in order to unlock the bazaar, I need roughly 241 more Skyblock XP. The first thing that I checked out in order to get a few more Skyblock XP was actually the museum. By donating items to the museum, you can actually increase your museum per progression rewards list or whatever, and the items range from something as expensive as a Hyperion to something like a spider sword or an undead sword. I took out a loan from my bank and went ahead and bought a few basic swords and bows from the weaponsmith in the hub. I also went ahead and used this opportunity to buy kind of a real armor set and put some smite on my undead sword so that I wouldn't be totally useless next time I had to kill something. Granted, I wasn't actually a high enough enchanting level to use the growth enchants on my armor, but everything helps, I guess. I put all that stuff in the museum and I think I actually got 
about 20 skyblock XP from spending 2,000 coins. However, I figured it probably wasn't viable to get all 200 XP this way because there were a lot of items that were a lot more expensive. Next, I tried to complete a bunch of the skyblock quests, so I introduced myself to all the villagers, especially Liam, who was really difficult to find. God, I hate you, Liam. And then I went over and talked to the farmer who needed some wheat for his cow because she was hungry. And then I talked to the farmhand who wanted me to craft a wheat minion. I already have a wheat minion, so I tried upgrading it to tier two, but that didn't work. And upgrade. No, did that? No, that didn't count. So I had to go all the way back to the hub to get a wooden hoe and craft a wheat minion. What a waste. And then the farmhand had the audacity to not even give me a single skyblock XP. He gave me an enchanted piece of bread. I don't even know what to do with that. To take out my frustration, I went to visit my two favorite NPCs, Cat and, oh yes, George the Pet Collector. He's my favorite NPC in Skyblock. Eventually, I just gave up trying to complete all the Skyblock quests because they really didn't give me any XP, so I switched over to just increasing my collections and actually playing the game like you're supposed to. Each collection level gives you four extra Skyblock XP, so I just made sure to unlock the first couple collection levels of a bunch of different resources. When possible, I also crafted the mini for each of these collections just so I didn't have to worry about them later. Unfortunately, this also involved massacring animals and the pig was especially difficult. I'm sorry, Technoblade. I'm sorry, I need the pig. I'm sorry. No, I need the pig minion. I'm sorry. Why would they put a crown and wings on it? That just makes it so much harder. After selling my soul to the devil, I went over to the desert island and did pretty much the exact same thing, except I gave up trying to kill rabbits and sheep because it was just too slow. And to close it all off, I farmed some shrooms and almost fell to my death a few times. Yikes. There we go. Skyblock level 6, Taming level 4, and I think I just unlocked Mushroom 2. I don't know. That was a lot of stuff. It doesn't fall on the ground anymore. I just collect everything in my inventory. This is amazing. I just need 92 more Skyblock XP, and I unlock the Bazaar. To celebrate, I gave my only minion a little treat. We'll give our Cobblestone minion the bread, even though it's not going to do anything. In order to get the remaining Skyblock XP, I decided to do what I vowed not to. Remember how hard I worked to avoid forging? It's because it's my least favorite activity in Hypixel Skyblock. But unfortunately, it was looking like it was time to do it. To make it as easy as possible though, I got a jungle axe and I put as best enchantments on it as I could. And you know what? It wasn't that bad. Sure, the jungle axe was slow, it didn't mine very many logs, and I really hated every second of it. Okay, fine, I hated forging. I think forging is one of my least favorite things of all time. For that reason, I only decided to get to collection level three of each of the six types of wood and also craft their respective tier one minion. What was nice about this technique is I would actually get the bare minimum amount of forging collection I would need. I I would also get a bunch of strength from leveling up the forging skill, and most importantly, I would get plenty of skyblock XP, which I actually got to skyblock level 7 just before I finished. Skyblock level 7, there's the bazaar. I did go ahead and finish up though, just so I could have that jungle wood collection unlocked, and then I went back to the hub. Now that I had unlocked the bazaar, I could start to make some serious money. I went ahead and created sell offers for all of the Halloween items in addition to that one totally random Jacobs ticket that we got, and then I insta sold everything that I had been collecting in my ender chest just because I didn't want to have to deal with that many sell offers and I think it was probably only going to be like an extra 2,000 coins. And with that, I had completed my ultimate goal of today's episode of unlocking the bazaar in the most obscure way possible. And that was Skyblock from Scratch episode one. This video took quite a while to make. However, I'm really happy with the results and I think it's actually a pretty good video and I hope you feel the same way. Because this video is very fast paced and probably isn't going to be very helpful for people who have no idea what a minion is, I'm planning to make a second series to go along with it. I still need to come up with a name for it, but basically it would dive in depth into certain aspects of the game. So maybe episode one would go over minions, episode two would go over skills, you know, that stuff. If you want to support me, you could subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. And if you really, really want to support me, you could become a channel member, but that's absolutely not required. I'm also going to be posting a bunch of highlights and content that didn't really make the cut for the main video on my second channel, which you should go check out. And again, there's a lot more that I want to say, but I'm going to stop myself here. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Also, you're about to see the new outro. Do you like it?